All right. Hey guys, what's up? FC XR Clan here, back with another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make your own custom resource pack in Minecraft 1.15.2. Um, this works for any version as of right now, but I am doing this in the version of 1.15.2. Um, that's, yeah, um, sorry for any background noise you may hear, uh, but besides the point, uh, this is also a Mac OS X tutorial, so if you're using Mac, um, any type of Mac, I'm using version OS X, like Mac OS X, but if any any Mac will work. Um, if you're using Windows, then I'm sorry, but I don't know how to do it for Windows. But this is a Mac tutorial, so let's get right into it. What you're gonna gonna the what you're gonna want to do is head on into Finder, all right, and you're gonna you're gonna want to press control shift G and you're gonna type this in right here the this will be in the description down below copy and pay copy it and paste it and then you press go now you're gonna see a bunch of stuff uh, whatever's on your computer you're gonna go and find the one that says Minecraft you're gonna open it and you're gonna get into this now once you're in this you're going to go into resource pack and these are, this is the list of your resource packs. You're going to make a new folder, uh, call it whatever you want, so we'll call it test resource pack uh, lol. All right, and uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here and you're going to make a new text document. So you're gonna go into um, any text software, I'm using text edit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this, create a new document, and you're gonna paste in this. And this will also be in the description down below. Um, depending on your version of Minecraft, this number will change. So if you're using 1.15.2, it'll be a five. Um, I'm pretty sure that changes on the version, but uh, this is for 1.15.2, so yep. What you're gonna do now is click on format and make plain text. It's gonna say okay. Then it's plain text, so you can. Oh yeah, and you also have to press uh, command S, and you're gonna name it pack. Dot M C M E T A McMeta, and see where it says if no extensions available, use txt. Um, click, unclick that. And right here where it says plain text encoding, we're going to go in here and change it to Western Windows Latin 1. Okay? And you're going to press save. And you're going to close this. Or, yeah, you're going to close this. And you're going to find that in here. You're going to copy this. You're going to bring it, you're going to go back to your, uh, to your thing. Go back to it. Uh, just find it here, and you're gonna paste it in. So there you go, it's here. And we can just go ahead and delete this one. Okay, so now it's in here. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to go ahead and get any logo that you want. So this is gonna be the logo for our pack, so we're gonna save this, and we're gonna call it uh, pack.png we're gonna save this uh, doesn't matter where you save it because we're just gonna press save and it's gonna say uh, you have you you have used the extension .png at the end of the name the standard extension is .jpg so what you're gonna do is click use .png it's gonna start downloading we're just gonna drag this to our desktop for ease of use uh, click out of your browser go back into your thing drag this in. Now what we're gonna do, there's two ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you the easy way, there's a hard way, uh, which is way harder, but we're obviously not gonna do that. We're gonna do it the easy way. So what you're gonna do is you're going to come back into here where it says Minecraft. You're going to go into versions. Go into the version that you're running on, so 1.15.2. And, uh, sorry about that. See right here, it says 1.15.2.jar. You're gonna take this, 
and you're gonna try and open it. So find a way to get into this. I don't know if you will know how, but find some way to get into it and it will do that. Um, if it has this error message, just click OK, it doesn't matter. Now you get this. This, we don't really need this, but, well, we do. We're going to go in here and it's going to show a bunch of stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to look in here for a folder. So it's going to be probably the only folder in here, and it's going to be called... I think I just saw it. Here, find this folder in there called Assets has to be called assets and it has to be a folder copy it go back to your resource pack uh, right here go back into it and paste it's gonna take a while um, and then it'll be in here so we're gonna go into it and then this is where you can actually start editing your stuff so we can go into texts splashes uh, uh, we could say, yo dudes, x out of it, and that's saved. Um, in, let's say we want to change uh, some of the textures, so let's say we want this block, let's say we want to change, um, I don't know, let's say we want to change, like, black concrete. Let's say we want to change black concrete. So what we're going to do is we're going to open with, or no, we're not going to open with. We're going to copy it, paste it into our desktop. It'll show up right here. Now what you're going to do is open this with a program called GIMP. Um, if you're on Windows, use something called paint.net. If you're on Mac, use GIMP. You can download that in the link in the description book down below. But basically, this is going to open up and it'll verify it, do all that stuff. It's gonna say, it's gonna pop up with a warning message in just a few seconds. Uh, but basically there's gonna be a warning message that says you downloaded this from the internet. Uh, are you sure it's safe? Uh, it is safe, this is verified. It is completely not gonna give your computer a virus. Don't worry, it's good. So that, um, while we wait for this to load, see, there's the warning message, uh, blah, 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 just press open anyway. And then it should open, and we're just gonna make this a little bit, oops, maybe we can shrink this down a bit. Um, and what you're gonna want to do is, since we opened it with that, now we can start editing it. So. We're gonna go, let's say we have, hmm, let's pick green. We're gonna write the word. Uh, so you click on this and then go. Or you can, you can do whatever you want. You can literally do whatever you guys want for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm just gonna quickly rush this, but yeah, you can do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, let's say we have what we want. It's good. We're gonna go to File, Overwrite Black Underscore Concrete Dot PNG. Click that. As you can see, it changed on the desktop. So we're just gonna X out of this, discard changes because we've already saved it. Move this over. Then we just drag and drop it in. It's gonna say an or older item named black blah 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 already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the newer one? You're moving. Click on replace and as you can see it's like this. Now that's if you want to edit the actual block but let's say you wanted I don't know uh, let's say you wanted a picture of uh, let's say you wanted a picture of like um, Pixel art. Let's say you wanted an actual image on your thing. Well, what you can do is go on to here, uh, just get an image, rename it to whatever, blah, and make sure it's .png. Doesn't matter, save, use .png. 
Let's drag this to our desktop. And what we're going to do, go into GIMP, come into here. What we're going to do is close out of this because we don't need it. Block. Let's change this. So we're going to copy it, paste it, show it down here. Just drag it into here and zoom in a bit. And we're going to take this and drag it in. And as you can see, you're like, oh no. Well, what we do is we hold control. See, on, on the zoom function, we hold control and tap and it zooms out. That's zoom in, that's zoom out. And uh, we take this scaling tool and we can just scale it down. And then we just put it onto here. Now this isn't very a very good image or anything. It's not But there. So let's say you've got that. And so it's like that. I know it's kind of fuzzy, but that's just cuz I rushed this for the purpose of this tutorial. So what you're going to do? Overwrite. It'll do that. As you can see, it's like that. Close this. Discard changes. Bring this over. And then you simply drag and drop. And it's as easy as that. Now, let's say you want... That's that. But let's say you want to... I don't know, change something else. Well, you can't you can change more than just the block. You can change paintings, guys. You can change uh particles like so angries. You can change the flames, the glint, the hearts, the lava. You can do pretty much whatever you want. You can change um even stuff that isn't really in there. So unknown server, unknown pack, pumpkin blur, force field, enchanted item. You can do so much stuff with this, but just to prove to you guys that this worked, we have all this, we've edited what we want, we have it in here, so we're good. Let's open this up in Minecraft, and I'm just gonna, hold on, I gotta log in quick. Alright, so, here we go, go into Minecraft, um, to prove to you guys that this actually worked. We're gonna hop on Minecraft, and um, this could this will take a while to load. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys see right here, it says FCXR Clan Custom Pack. That is because I'm making a resource pack for FCXR Clan, and we are making a video about it very soon. So I'm actually on the pack right now. So what we're gonna do? Go into Resource Packs. Get out of this. And as you can see, your pack is right there. So what we're going to do... Oops. Just bring this down. Sorry, my... There we go. So now we have it on. And it's just going to load in, as it does with all resource packs. And as you guys can see... Okay, so as you can see... We're on the resource pack. Right now it's loading a different resource pack because um, it is, but once we log out it will change. So let's do a uh, roo because it's cool. And we'll just make a new world real quick um, so I can show off this resource pack. Um, so this will take a second. Um, and then I'll show you guys uh, what we did. What did we edit? We edited the we edited the black concrete and the acacia wood, right? So let's see if what we did worked. So we're gonna head into this new world. We're gonna hop seer. Here we go. As you can tell, guys, our custom planks are working. Hold on, let me just full screen this. Alright, so as you can see, it very much worked. Oh, there's a village. Cool. And where's the black concrete? If we find the black concrete, you can see 
our little smiley face guy. He's right there. Looking nice and cool. And if we exit out of this world, you can see, yo dudes, and that's what we wrote earlier. So, that is all I have. Uh, that's how to make a custom resource pack in Minecraft 1.15.2 Java Edition. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, slap the bell, share the video, you know the drill. Check out the other channels, give the channel some love, and peace. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, goodbye.